Welcome in. Welcome back to the array. What do you say? We uh, let's talk about something a little different, but it's a good skill to have, and it's really not all that hard to do. And I think you will find it just a little bit enjoyable. At least I do. I have some speakers that the surround. Uh, a lot of it was foam. Is just when you touch it, it just disintegrates. Uh, luckily, there's a small company in St. Petersburg, the Tampa area, that sells parts for that called Simply Speaker. You can order all the stuff, they come right in, ships real easy, easy to deal with, it's all online, boom, boom, just tell them what speaker you got and they'll tell you all the parts you need depending on what the problem, from voice coils to actual reconing to just the surround. You can, you can do all of it. So today, what I thought we would do is let's recone one. I've done a couple. I've had some JBL 4410s, which I'll show you. These, the uh, the surround was all, all eaten up. All this, uh, this was foam. You touch it and it would just dis disintegrate. So as you can see, that looks really good. I'll put it over the up close camera. Looks pretty much a uh, factory. Uh, they give you the adhesive. Uh, each one comes with the adhesive, comes in a little bag, a little brush, and uh, I even had uh, the seal to go around that. So I did two of these. I got to put them back in, but they'll, uh, I think they're going to sound pretty good. I got to put them back in the speaker and we might hook that up here later on. But I have, let me grab it. I'm going to get my stool while I'm over here. So this was part of my cons computer speakers that I've had. I've had this this set. This is the Clips uh, THX 2.1, uh, what are they called? Pro Media 2.1, they're THX certified, whatever that means. No, T that's usually the sign some really good stuff. Um, I've had these since probably about 2004, somewhere around in there, yeah. And I had to, take them, had to take them back to work with some stuff, adjust some streaming processing, and I needed a good, good set of speakers. I know how these sound. I'm comfortable with them. They sound really good. And, um, you know, this is the subwoofer and the amplifier. It's got all the stuff on the back. Uh, accoutrement. But you hear that. So, I was cranking on them pretty good. And it just, all the bass just went to nothing, to absolutely nothing. And I said, uh-oh, I know what happened there. So, you know, we got to take that out. So let's, uh, we're going to do that right now. You can see on the inside, it's all kind of, uh, the amplifier in there, board, and there's the wires that come out. And uh, so, yeah, you see some of the other little <laughs> foam. Oh my lord, a whole bunch of it. All of it just fell in there. Couldn't get out because I had the, the screen was on it. I uh, pried the screen off, it was just kind of glued. So let's set this down here, out of the way. Pretty much the first thing what we need to do is clean the rest of this up. We could probably almost peel it off. Yeah, see it's just coming apart. Ugh. Real kind of nasty feet on then. Just clean this up and go through it with a little razor knife. And you need to kind of go over the cone too. So it's glued on the underneath. A 
You kind of you want that cleaned up as best you can. Hmm. Goodness. We'll clean all that up here in a minute. So it's kind of cleaned up. Now here's what I think a little bit of a delma we're gonna have is this plastic piece is gonna have to come off because the way the surround is mounted, I don't know if you can tell, but it goes up under this plastic piece. And it feels like it's just kind of little pieces of glue. So here we go. Look at that. And I was right. Another thing you kind of want to have on hand is a little bit of the uh, alcohol denatured isopropyl just to uh, help clean some of the, the goo. Although this isn't too bad, but we're going to go over it. Also, a uh, little chisel. I'm trying not to cut yourself, but I don't, that's a good way to clean it up. And this part here ain't going to be too critical. We just want it to not get in the way when we button everything back up. And we had to, in Charlotte, there used to be, there was a company called uh, The Speaker Doctor. That little Russian guy back there. All he did was sit back there and rebuild speakers. And I don't think they are in business anymore. But it's been a many, uh, when I worked at Carowinds, we had an amusement park. One of those theaters had a... Uh, they had two cabinets for sub base, and each cabinet had a pair of JBL 18 inch woofers. And uh, we had one of those Nickelodeon, uh, it was one of those 3D shows, I think it was, uh, oh God, I forgot what it was, one of those Stan Lee, back when that started hitting it pretty big. And <laughs> we would, uh, we were known to pop some woofers, some tweeters, and I uh, had one. We got just got back from being repaired, came back, and their voice coil was like sticking out the front of the of the lens screen on the on the end of the cone. It was quite a uh, a show there. I'm glad there's only one of these. This little, just gonna get all the little places we couldn't get with the chisel.
Oh. All right, so now we got all of this cleaned up. Took a little bit of alcohol and uh, a wood chisel. I just kind of scuffed it up a little bit. And then I found, uh, I was kind of fitting it, seeing which way I want to do some of that gunk on the back was there. So we kind of went over that. So I don't think I'm going to glue it on the back. I know it might be easier kind of in the long run to do it that way, but And you can see all the schmutz we got left over there. So now what we're going to do, just kind of dry fit this. It comes out of the plastic here. And uh, that's the surround. Just kind of want to dry fit that, get that centered up as much as we can. We're more concerned about the paper right now. Kind of want to depress that a little bit. You don't want it to scuff. You don't want to hear it scuff on the... Well, you can probably hear that. You don't want that. You just kind of want it to be smooth. So make sure you're kind of centered up a little bit. And then once you're good, we are going to start with uh, the paper, the actual cone. So I'm going to take one last sip of coffee here. I'm going to get my brush out. We're going to get our adhesive. So, yeah, 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 this is just like rubber cement, but it's a Simply Speakers uh, Speaker Repair Adhesive. Works for it's just general purpose adhesive. It's just good to have around. Actually, one tube of this, and I did uh, the other two cones, those 10 inches over there. So I did two of those, and uh, then I got some, which we'll get out after everything dries. We're probably gonna have to finish this tomorrow because it's getting kind of late. We'll get this squared away. And they say, turn that upside down to glue it. Now this just screws off. And it takes, it drives it about an hour. So we're just gonna go just a little dab around. Careful not to drag your sleeve in it. Go. Let's put the lid back on. I'm go through it with this brush, just kind of even it out. We want a good seal all the way around. Kind of go around all that. All right. Check that. Let's kind of work it on there. Work your way around. It's not our best work. 
I think it's going to be okay. I think that will work just fine. All right, so welcome back in. Here we are. It's the next day. We kind of ran out of time. We wanted to let this dry. So now the last part to do is get the our surround here. So we just got to get that up against the basket. And I think what we're going to do is when we get the glue around there, we're just going to go ahead and place this back on it. We want to be careful. We want to line up the screw holes with the appropriate holes here. So just kind of do a little quick dry fit. Because we'd still, we do want to be able to attach it back into the subwoofer, right? So now we got our glue, and then when we get that done, we'll hit it with the uh, the sealer here. We'll go around the uh, inside edge, right around here. So we got that there. Get a little acid brush ready, and ah, come on, there we go. Ah. Just gonna go right on the metal. Gonna take your time. I wanna go too terribly fast. And there we are back around. Put the lid back on that. Okay, so that is there. Okay. Try not to get it on oh, my fingers too terribly bad here. Yeah. I think that matched up pretty good. We're just gonna leave that upside down for a, a minute or two. All right, now, while that's, uh, we'll give that a couple of minutes to cure up. That's a perfect time to take sweet sweat of coffee. And since we just got a quickie here, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go around the uh, the edge, right around that foam surround right there. So you'll see it schmutz all over me here. And that way we just get a good seal on the paper and the surround. It almost smells like Elmer's glue. And I'll just go through with a brush. All right, there we go. You see it's a little white, but that will dry clear. So, uh, awesome. So then the next thing you kind of want to do is just kind of clean up your work area. All that uh, foam and schmutz and stuff that came off, I cleaned that up earlier. And there was a lot, and I, I think I found some more, uh, especially over there on the rags. But there you go. That's pretty much about it. We're going to let this dry and set up. Um, that being that way, I think we'll go ahead and we'll just turn it upside down. Let the weight of that kind of hang out there and uh, make sure that gets a good seal. We'll check that out tomorrow. However, I do have one of those JBLs, so we're gonna 
put one of these bad boys in there and fire that up and see how it sounds. So, all right, so here we are. Uh, we have uh, this bad boy here. You see the crossover on the inside. Might not be able to see it there. And uh, the wire's coming out right there. So we're gonna take, oh, which one did we do? I think this was the first one. I think this was it. Go ahead, hook this up like so. Helps to be able to see it. Just push the little tab in. Pull the tab up. There you go. All right. Now, you just got to be able to. That looks like a hole. I do with the screws. Would be to lay it down at this point. How about that? Amazing. Gasket in line here. There we go. And then we can there we go. We'll probably get it from there. Screw started. There we go. Uh, hopefully this will work. This is going to the B side. Try not to get a copper splinter. I had one in my foot this past summer. Had to get my niece over to help get it out. It was not fun. So let me go uh, flip the switch here. Crank some volume up. Alexa. Play some classic rock. Here's a station you might like. Classic rock on Amazon Music. Redemption. I 